Hey everyone, it's me, Shasta. So for today's video, I thought I'd make a Splatoon themed den. So first you want to start out with the moon dirt flooring and I'm leaving the walls the same. Next you want to take your painter's tarp and place them in kind of a diamond format. And I'm using two separate colors. I'm using orange and blue. You can use whatever two colors you want as long as they're two different colors. So now you want to add your TVs to your wall. I chose red and black. You can choose whatever colors you want. I thought red and black kind of fit well. And now you want to place your orange and blue paint strikes on the wall. Make sure they're not completely organized. You kind of want to mix them up a little bit so it doesn't look like, you know, you purposely put them there. Since it is platoon, so just put that into consideration. Once you've pretty much covered your walls with paint, you want to take some plants and put them around. We are trying to copy the Museum D. Alfonsino look from Splatoon. If you haven't played the game, I really recommend you play it. It's an awesome game. So to cover up for the fact that our TVs are floating, I don't really want that look. I just want the TV kind of look in there. Add some plants around to make it look okay. You don't have to use the same plants I'm using, but I personally think they look really good. So once you add your plants, go ahead and add your like splotches of paint on the floor. It is Splatoon, so you want to add some, you know, kind of decorations, add some, a few of those paw prints, add those splotches of paint. Make sure to stay true to your color or else it's not going to look very Splatoonish. Um, it looks kind of like a paint war went on here, so that's the kind of look we're going for. So you can just kind of place them anywhere you want. You can place them the same places. I place them, but just place them around the room. Now, since Splatoon is kind of a battle game, except with ink, you want to use some of the, like, hiding strategies, so go ahead and add these cute painter carts in there. You can do them coordinated to color side. I have my green on the right and my blue on the left, so that's how I'm kind of color coordinating mine and kind of switch your decorations around to better fit the style you're looking for. So that's pretty much what I did. You guys can customize it. It really doesn't matter. So this is our finished main little battle stage area and now I am going on to the separate sides and I will be starting with the orange side. You will need a den portal for this and I think den portals are found in the shop. I am using a stone one and I bought the orange one since I have orange and blue colors and you just want to set it to a user or any user you wish. And now you want to decorate the side kind of according to your colors. I am also adding some art on the walls. As I said earlier, I'm trying to get the feel of one of the Splatoon battle arenas called Museum di Alfonsino. Again, if you don't have the game, it's a great game. I absolutely love it. So add some paint splotches to the wall. I put a painter's can in the corner. I thought that kind of added some authentic look to it. I will also be adding some cute masterpieces to my wall. You do not have to. You can add whatever kind of art you want or you can even add this whole wall um, paint splotches. But just kind of keep the orange theme to it because that's the kind of side look you're going for. Since this is like the blue territory. I mean the orange territory. <laughs> and then the other side will be the blue territory. I'm finishing off this side with some baby palm trees. I believe these are not in stores right now, so you can use whatever plants you'd like. And it gives it kind of a foresty look to it, and I think it matches the theme of the den. So go ahead and use whatever plants you'd like. I also added a painter's tarp, so if you'd like to add more of these, that is fine. I used a blue one, which isn't the best idea considering it's the orange side, but I thought it looked cute. 
So now for the blue side of the den, I'm placing some painter tarps around the blue den portal which I bought in the store. And now I'm just going to place some bamboo patches along the outer sides of the den portal. I thought this looked really cute there. Not quite sure why, just kind of, you know, blended in. I thought it just worked really well there. So now like we did to the other side, just place the paint splotches on the wall. You do not have to do too many since I will be adding art on this side, but that should complete your kind of wall art look. So now to finish off this side, I'm just adding a paint roller and then I'll also add a few paint cans and I'm going to be adding some paint splotches to the side too. These are kind of optional, I think it looks okay as it is, but if you want to give it more of a messy look, which I think looks kind of good, then go ahead. Moving on to the upper part of the den, you can go ahead and place two curved surfaces across from each other and place some masterpieces on the wall, kind of one after the other. You can also use haunted portraits too, I thought those would look just as amazing as well. Now to add some more decoration to this little upper part of the den, you can go ahead and add some plants in there. I like to kind of have a little plant creation there. I don't know. I just don't put one plant. I have to put all three, of course, but I think it looks pretty good. You guys can use whatever plants you'd like. You can also color coat them, so find an orange plant or a blue plant or whatever colors you'd like. Now to finish off this side of the den, you can go ahead and add those like paint splotches and put them on the wall or just put them wherever you like. You can put them on the floor too. Don't be afraid to just scatter them everywhere. Now moving on to the other side, I just placed some painter's carts on either side. So you guys can go ahead and do the same and I did color coat them. And now for this side, you basically just wanna do the same thing you did on the other side. So I will let you guys watch. For the main center floor, I'm just adding some cherry blossom trees. If you don't have cherry blossom trees, it's pretty easy to find a good substitute for them. And I'm just kind of placing them in a symmetrical kind of form. And now you want to add a Zios fountain, and I placed it right in the center. And you can add some other decorations, but other than that, you're pretty much done with your center floor. 